Hey guys, so I want to talk tonight. Look, I want to talk. I want to come on tonight and talk a little bit about the Kanye situation. Him um, saying that he is running for president. Um, I, you know what, guys? This is just raw. I don't have like details or facts. I'm just gonna shoot from the hip and just say pretty much what I'm thinking about. I mean, up up until like just recently, he was you know wearing the big red hat. He was align with uh, Trump and you know um, I always was proud of him because of his courage in coming out even early when the mainstream media you know just rips people apart just eviscerates people for saying that they uh, that they support Trump so he went through all of that and he continues well continued to up until recently so I don't know what's going on and again, I haven't been able to read all the details, so something may develop after I say this uh, tonight. But um, as far as Kanye is concerned, uh, like I said, when he first came out and supported Trump, I was really proud of him, you know, for sticking to his values. He sounds like a strong person that is not going to be swayed by, you know, what the media thinks as many people are. They just kind of go with the flow and they get into all the rhetoric and they just, you know, don't really have any sort of uh, convictions or they, they just, you know, go on wherever the wind blows. But um, Kanye wasn't like that. Um, I should say up until recently, when he aligned himself with um, Pastor Joel Osteen. Um, I don't know. And this whole God thing that, you know, um, I think he had a discussion with his with his dad about it. And his, and his dad told him that something he did, and again, I don't have all the details, but I know that whatever it was, he, his father said God doesn't like that. And he had this big religious transformation and you know, now he's uh, with this pastor, and uh, I don't know, especially the pastor that he aligned himself with, and the fact that he's using God, because God is relative, you know, I mean, you know, many people use God to sort of uh, put their agendas across, so that's sort of not really too convincing. Uh, I, I don't really understand what he means. He's, I know he even mentioned God in saying how to move this country forward. And many people interpret God many, 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 many different ways. So I, I don't know that he's really, he seems like he's waffling. He seems like he's waffling. And um, I can definitely see him being a candidate in 2024. Um, he's too late for to really get in the ring in many of the um, states because, you know, he has to fill out, get the petitions. And there's a lot involved. I don't know if he knows that, um, but I'm just concerned, more concerned now than when he, you know, bravely stood up in his concert and, and announced that he would vote for Trump. Now it's just sort of, I don't know where he, where he's going, but I do know this, and I'm going to look it up before I come back and do another uh, video. I do know that he got a loan um, from the administration, and um, that raised a lot of eyebrows, but look, he's a business, and he was... Um, eligible for the loan as far as I can see. I don't see anything, you know, peculiar about that. But, you know, Kanye is one to keep your eye on. So, um, yeah, I'm going to continue to follow this. And, uh, you know, my whole um, agenda is about ending homelessness in, uh, in America. And 
uh, the liberals have let us down tremendously. If you are experiencing homelessness or know anything about it, you know that uh, homelessness is the worst. It festers in cities where liberals um, have control. And, um, you know, back to the whole thing with Joel Olstein, I'm like, wasn't he the pastor who didn't open his doors during, um, you know, uh, one of the hurricanes? Again, I don't have my facts in front of me, but I remember that. And um, you can't just run for office and try to exclude, as the liberals have for decades, uh, people who are living on the streets. You, you just can't do that. Many people attempt to. They have their pet projects for, you know, the LGBTQ community. Um, God, that's kind of, let's see, what else? What else do they have? Uh, gay rights is so big in their community. But, um, the, oh, refugees, uh, immigrants, you know, uh, all these things are important, but to me, they're red herrings to escape the biggest crisis, which is homelessness. <laughs> People within your own borders without housing, I think that's important too. So, I don't know. Um, Kanye's got to be able to address everybody, to encompass everybody and whatever his plans are for running for the Oval Office. Now, that's all I have to say tonight on Let's Talk. Um, hope you'll follow me, hope you'll subscribe because I try to give perspectives on the homeless crisis in America. It is a crisis. We can't normalize it as some people have, particularly the liberals. They have just normalized. It's okay for people to be outside and dying and, you know, being harassed and, and, and brutalized by police even. And so, um, yeah, let's, let's hope we can, uh, can change that and maybe Kanye has some answers. I don't know. All right. I'll talk to you soon. This has been Lit and this is As a Third World in North America Turns.